welcome in another CFL Weekly WAD. This week's WAD is Friends Opening Day, a partner WAD of reps 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. You go, I go. You're going to start with wall balls. On these wall balls, you're going to try and break up these wall balls into big sets. This isn't going to take too much time. If you guys do not have wall balls available, that's totally fine. You can either substitute jumping air squats or you can do weighted jumping air squats. Next is going to be chest bar pull-ups. These can be strict, these could be kipping, these could be butterfly, whatever it is, just make sure you're working to get that bar right below your collarbone. Work a little bit deeper than what you normally would a regular pull-up. Makes pull-ups a little bit easier. Then you're gonna go right into dumbbell thrusters. This is practically a wall ball, right? Yes, but you're not throwing the dumbbells up, so that kind of makes it a little bit different. Um, on these, you wanna try and use appropriate weights that you can knock out about 10 reps. So what's recommended is a pair of 40s for guys, a pair of 25s for the ladies. Hashtag happy women international day, international women's day, something like that. After your dumbbell thrusters, you guys are going to hop right onto the box. Make sure you're landing safe. Be soft on the box and step down too. Save those Achilles tendons. They're beautiful. Have you ever seen the movie Achilles? Yeah, you got to be careful. So step down. As you guys will see in the modifications, I will be having you guys step up if you can't do box jumps. Then last, we are finishing with kettlebell swings. These can be Russian. These can be American. We don't discriminate when it comes to kettlebell swings. Just make sure you use the hips and the hamstrings to get that kettlebell up and just move safe. Stay tuned, guys. We got the movement standards coming up. So if you guys need some points of performance on how to do these movements, stick around. All right, wall balls. You guys want to pick up your wall ball. You want to hold it out in front of you. Make sure it's arms distance away from the wall. Now she's going to put it up in front of her. Make sure that you're cradling it. You're not pressing it together, but you're cradling it. So hands underneath the ball. She's going to start. She's going to drop her hips. Then she's going to come up, drive through the heels, and let the ball come off her fingertips. One more time, she's going to drop down, fire up with the hips. Let it go up overhead. All right, for the chest bar pull-ups, we want to make sure we're trying to get that bar right below our collarbone. So whether we're doing strict or with a band, we want to try and pull ourselves deeper than we would with the normal chest bar pull-ups. Chest bar, squeezing his feet, keeping tight in the butt. Now he's going to pull up. You're going to get nice and deep. Now he's going to come back down and relax, okay? If you are going to be using the kipping motion, let's make sure you keep that body tight the entire time. Paul's going to get up. He's going to stay in a nice tight position. He's gonna pull down against that bar, come up, get to that position, back down, and up. Beautiful. All right, substitute for the chest bar pull-ups. We are not using bands this week. Instead, we are gonna be doing jumping pull-ups. He's gonna start right underneath the bar. He's gonna jump up, pull himself up, come down, relax, reset, jump up, pulling up over. Thrusters, dumbbells are in a front rack position. Elbows are gonna be nice and tall. She's gonna get into good squat stance. Now she's gonna squat down. Full depth, she's gonna do the same thing with the wall ball. She's gonna drive her hips up. Once she pops, then she's gonna press overhead. So again, she's gonna bring it back down. Elbows nice and tall, good tall torso. Drop down, come out quick, pop, and press. All right, box jumps, pretty straightforward. You guys wanna start, feet right under the hips. You wanna get in a good athletic position. Paul's gonna bend, he's gonna explode with his hips. He's gonna land nice and soft on the box. He's gonna step down, save those ankles. Again, load the hips, boom. Come up. If you guys are modifying this, you're going to be performing step ups. So now you're going to step up with one foot, bring both feet to the top, step down, and make sure you're alternating every single step. Step down. All right, kettlebell swings. Make sure that kettlebell is starting a little bit out in front of you. Saline's going to get into her hike position here. First move, she's going to pull that kettlebell into her hips. She's coming up, using those hips to bring that kettlebell up. Pop. Nice. One more time. Nice, when you return, make sure you put it back into your height position so that we are set up for the next time. Keep the weight in the heels, use those butts to get the kettlebell up. 